Hello foodies, in today's episode I'm going to show you how to make the gravy for any gravy dish. I use this gravy for making chicken, mutton or veg korma, potato curry, you name it and this, curry will, this gravy will be used. So uh, let's get started with the recipe. For the gravy, we need all these ingredients. Let's start with onion. These are three thinly sliced onions. We need some oil. These are whole spices. Coriander seeds, two tablespoons. Fennel seeds, two tablespoons. Star anise, one. Nine to 10 peppercorns. Nine to 10 cloves. 2 green cardamom 1 small cinnamon stick Again for the gravy base we need dried coconut This is the dried coconut and I have shredded that If you don't have this you can simply use the fresh coconut This is half a cup of dried coconut In a pan I have added 2 tablespoons of oil once the oil is hot, you're going to add all these whole spices. Saute it for about 2 minutes until the coriander seeds or fennel seeds turn golden brown. This is going to give a beautiful flavor and aroma. And in about two minutes, time to add the shredded coconut. This is dry coconut. Mix this well and roast this for about two minutes. And this is how it looks now. I am going to add two more tablespoons of oil and shallow fry the onion. I'm going to shallow fry this onion until it turns golden brown. I will saute it for another 5 minutes and let it cool for 10 more minutes. In an about 20 minutes the onion looks like this. This is translucent and turning brown right now. So I'm going to get this grinded and make a pure puree out of it. You might need to add some water, like quarter cup of water, and make a smooth puree. Alright, so I've added half a cup of water in this mixture while grinding and this is the smooth puree as you can see here. So after grinding, this is the gravy ready for us. So I always make extra gravy just like this and store it in the freezer for about 15-20 days and whenever you need any gravy dish, boom, you have it and it's so easy. I use this gravy for vegetable kurma or any gravy you know dish i make it in, in a larger batch and keep it handy so as you've seen how easy that was just make it in a larger batch and store it in the freezer section you can put it in the ice cube tray as well and uh, as and when you need any gravy recipe you can just simply have this ready with you so your gravy will be so delicious, I'm telling you. I always make it in advance and I have it for at least three to four dishes. Thank you for watching this recipe. I'm going to use this for making chole recipe, so stay tuned for that.